Thompson uh, had a very interesting academic career. He was uh, one of the people who competed in what they call the uh, Tripos Mathematical Competition at Cambridge. This is a rather strenuous uh, intellectual exercise in mathematics, and it almost has the flavor of uh, a Harry Potter thing. The winners were referred to as Wranglers, uh, so the, the person who was first place was a special Wrangler. Thompson became, came in second place in the Tripos competition as a second Wrangler. It was really quite an accomplishment intellectually. Another interesting aspect of Thompson is that while he is recognized uh, primarily for his physics and uh, the, uh, the electron and, and, and the positive ions and mass spectrometry, he did quite a bit of work uh, before 1890, I think seven or eight, 98 when he published the work on the electron and uh, that is totally ignored by uh, uh, people who talk about his life. Considering uh, his birth date, he was in, a, in his early 40s when he first started working on the electron, so he was doing a lot of science prior to that. And interestingly, most of it might be considered what today you would call computational chemistry. He was using his mathematical expertise to look into things like the chemical combination of gases and doing the dense mathematics to try and understand that. In that whole experiment, he was also looking into, kind of led to his investigation of ions, both positive and negative ions. And the, probably the thing that uh, was most interesting at that time was, was the use of what they call a gas discharge experiment. People had been doing gas discharge experiments for literally centuries prior to Thompson's becoming involved because they were fun, they were nice demonstrations, they made pretty glowing lights. So it was uh, an interesting way of showing that electricity had some weird properties. But it wasn't a very quantitative thing. And so this is where Thompson came in is he uh, applied uh, some physical concepts to try and dis discern and make some sense out of the, what went on in a gas discharge. The gas discharge really is simply creating a, a volume, a glass volume, and putting a small uh, electrodes at each end and then causing an electrical discharge to occur. And this would create ions, both positive and negative, and cause light to be developed inside the glass volume. And in addition, you would end up getting uh, different phenomena as the pressure of the gas and the nature of the gas changed. Mm -hmm.